Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to present you what is the best way how you can get data in Morocco and what I think is the best is sim that you can get in Morocco. I was in Morocco for I think 12 days and I personally used a sim and it worked so well. So I'm going to show you what I used, how does it work and what is the whole process. So the first one that I definitely recommend is Maya Mobile. I'm personally using it and it works well for me. And what I like to do with Maya Mobile is that you're gonna have link with the discount down below in the description. First, I click here on a coverage. And I come here to the Morocco and I actually check where is the coverage right here and where I'm going to get it. Now for the ESIM, when I was traveling across Morocco, I didn't really get much data when I was on roads. So I'm going to be honest and uh, it didn't really well like worked on a road, but when I was in Marrakesh, uh, when I was in Safi, and also when I was in Jadida and Casablanca, Rabat, I traveled across all Morocco. It worked really well in the cities. So that's about it. Then uh, what you want to do is to check if your phone is eSIM compatible, and you can see right here eSIM compatible devices. And you can find your phone right here. And then in a search, I'm going to write Morocco. So right here, I'm going to have Morocco eSIM. And then you're going to have options to have between 5 days, 10 days, 15 days, or even 30 days of data. So let's say that you want to use it for Google Maps, trying to find things. Here, you're going to have 3 gigabyte of data. So I would click here, activate now. But right before that, I want to show you also a competitor to my mobile, and that's Aerolo. So you can use Aerolo too. And right here, what I would do, I would just press and write Morocco. And let's compare the prices. So let's look here. So with the Morocco on uh, Aerolo, I have 30 gigabyte of data, 30 days, 1250. Here it's 30 gigabyte data, 22 USD. And let's say we want to 30 days, 24. So even the pricing is similar because with both you're going to have discounts. And let's say that I'm going to click here on Aerolo. Both got same coverage. So both are using orange. So that means is that the, the you know, the uh, coverage here is same for both. Now, what you can do is activate now. And then you're going to get a discount 10% from me. And what will happen then is that you're going to get a QR code from both Aerolo and also from uh, Maya mobile and you're gonna have tutorials how we can activate the eSIM because all you have to do is scan it and that's how we're gonna do it and with the arrow you're gonna have the also QR code right here that you have to activate so check the prices on both which one you like you can have discounts with both links down below in the description that you can use and you can actually save money so that's a good and I recommend both of these for traveling to Morocco. I personally use it and it worked really well because I could find restaurants. I was in a town I was trying to find like what is nearby. And I let me tell you, I found the best restaurants only thanks to thanks to um like my eSIM. And I'm going to even show you right here. Let me show you where I was. This is going to blow your mind because I'm just going to try to find you where I went and Google Maps. Maybe I'm going to be in save there. Uh, Google. Google Maps. I know this is like completely random, but I'm going to guide you through the Morocco and what I will like. So here I was in a Morocco. And I'm going to click saved. And look at this. Okay, so when I was in Marrakesh. Oh, Restal and Grand ba Bazaar Marrakesh was great. It's really good. Then when I was also Morocco. Okay, when I was here, I was like best restaurant. Restaurant La Clé, that's good too. Let me show you. Vegan food was also great. Hotel Ride Alcanza was a really good hotel. And uh, there was a great hotel I definitely recommend to check out. And there was like a really good restaurant I want to show you. Oh, here it is. Restaurant MB. So this restaurant right here, it's in Fes. So when you're going to be in Fes, 
this restaurant is something else and i have more even then you're gonna have the casa di pasta and also paul here and i have like so many good restaurants that i was in so yeah i just wanted to show you just quickly about the restaurants and when i go even back here and I don't know where you want to go, but let's say I want to go to Cinema Cafe. It was like an interesting thing. And yeah. So thank you very much. My recommendation is definitely check the reviews for whatever restaurant you want to go into. Only because check if it is like money grab or something. Because you can find really good restaurants in Morocco. And yep, good luck, safe journey, and have a great day. And goodbye.